Hi and welcome to the video on divided bar graphs. By the end of this video, you should understand what a divided bar graph is and how to draw one. So here are some examples of a divided bar graph. It is similar to a sector graph, but instead of using a circle, we use a rectangle to represent the relative sizes of the things that you've collected data on. As you can see in the first divided bar graph, we have some colors of cars, and they're represented by percentages underneath them, as well as the names of what you, the colors of the cars. In the second divided bar graph, again, this we have four of the most popular pets. Uh, again, we have percentages inside, but the percentages inside the divided bar graph aren't necessary all the time because you can see in this third divided bar graph, all we have is the names of some sports and the relative sizes. So really it's about the rectangle and putting in the correct sizes of um, the section. So let's see how to do that. Here we have a table with some collected information. It's the costs of some fruits and meats and drinks, and we're going to put that into a divided bar graph. To start off with, you work out the total of the costs, or the total of the, the numbers of the scores that you're looking at. In this case, it's $200. Next, we want to draw a rectangle that represents that $200. So we have to work out the scale. Now, as an example, our scale could be something like $1 is 1 centimeter. The problem with that is our rectangle will be too big because to represent $200, we would need 200 centimeters. That's two meters and won't fit in your book. So way too long. If we decided that we would go up in okay, groups of 10, that maybe $10 would be, would be represented by one centimeter on our graph, um, then we would also have it been quite long because the $200 would need 20 centimeters to be represented and 20 centimeters in your book is a little bit too long. So what we're going to go with here is we're going to let $20 be represented by one centimeter on our rectangle. This means that if I want to represent $200, I need to draw a rectangle that's 10 centimeters long. Now often I get asked, how wide do you need to make your divided bar graph? I would suggest as a, as a, as a tip to be about three or four centimeters long. Uh, you don't want to be too wide or even too thin. So about three or four centimeters is just right. Okay, so here's our rectangle. We've, we've got it set up. This is going to represent $200. Now let's start putting in the information. So fruit is represented by $20, which is one centimeter on our divided bar graph. So I measure one centimeter and I section off the section for fruit and I color it in whatever color I want and label it fruit. My second section will be for vegetables, which is going to be $40. And that means I need to have two centimeters on my divided bar graph. And I write in vegetables inside it. Meat is $60, which is represented by 3 centimeters. Snacks is $40, represented by 2 centimeters. And finally, drinks is $40, represented by 2 centimeters. And I have 2 centimeters left because I've done correct measuring. What I have to do now is make sure that I give myself a title, food and drink costs, and I'm done. Like a sector graph, it uses a shape to represent all the information. But this is actually a little bit easier to draw because it's a rectangle instead of a circle. And you don't need a, uh, a compass or a protractor for it. So I'd like you to pause and summarize this information, write the question, write down the total and the scale that we worked out and use a ruler to draw the graph. Now that you've paused and summarized, there is a little bit more. Some tips on how to draw it. So these are some steps. So step one, work out the total of all your scores. Step two, work out your scale, what one centimeter will represent. Step three, divide your rectangle into measured sections. Step four, label your sections. We did that as we went. And five, give it a title. Please pause and summarize this information. And that's it. You've seen an example on how to draw a divided bar graph. Now you get to go practice it from your text. Good luck.